Uh, welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to a, uh, a special little, uh, I guess you want to say a big thing in a small package here, uh, a version of Gorilla Blood Radio, Daniel Korea, Scott, NDX. Uh, Scott, uh, out of nowhere, uh, just uh, this evening, uh, we're taping this on a random day that has nothing to do with our normal day of the week, um, but uh, Scott texted me. Uh, talking about something I, I had never even heard of. You want to fill the people in? All right. So uh, Germany is um, rife with uh, issues right now. If you haven't seen any videos on uh, YouTube or the news in general, there's a lot of social justice issues going on in Germany about hate speech and whatnot. You know, so the left and the right and everyone in between, someone like Daniel and myself. You know, because I'm, I'm, I'm centered for the most part daniel's conservative but not like hardcore conservative i'm not i'm not crazy i'm not alt-right nazi white supremacist bullshit that you see portrayed uh, a lot of us as and me and daniel have had a lot of conversations over the last decade about this and you know? it, the funniest part is over the years there were times where we couldn't talk to each other because we were so far apart on things and as time goes on, we're, we're finding a lot of common ground, which is kind of cool. We're both, we're both centering out each other. Yeah, like, a little bit. I'm moving more conservative. Not completely. I, there are definitely a lot of points on the conservative side that I don't agree with for the most part. You know? I But I guess I'd be right of center. And you're coming closer and going, damn, these people are stupid. Yeah, there's a lot of stupid things going on in the world in general. <laughs> That's politics in general. But exactly. right now, Germany... To they have a big hard on for hate speech in general, and uh, to counteract it, they are now they have not not now. Back in June of last year, they voted for a law, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce the German name of it. It's just NetzDG is the best way to do it. N E T Z D G. You can Google that, and you'll find all that information you need about it. Um, pretty much saying anyone who is a social media company that has more than 2 million users are now eligible to be fined if they don't remove um, hate speech in some fashion from their uh, from their platform and then do something about the person that posted said hate speech. Yeah, and see, this is where things get fuzzy because... It's a matter of what what defines hate speech, and some t- some people. I mean, hell, I mean, we're for by and large a wrestling program. Uh, once in a while, we dabble in this uh, extracurricular stuff. Uh, but if uh, someone says John Cena sucks or fuck Roman Reigns, could that be considered hate speech? Based on who? What rules? Yeah, like, look, I can already tell that we might have issues with this uh, uh, yeah. uh, little little clip that we're doing right now when we put this up later. Yeah. Because people might be like, oh, that's offensive, and I don't like that. That voice alone can be offensive, and I don't like that. And, I mean, we sit here, we do silly shit all the time. Yep. That's the point of our show. You know, mainly our show went from being wrestling to... Wrestling to <laughs> oh yeah, wrestling. Yeah, basically. <laughs> we 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 devolved. Basically, <laughs> we, we went from like superhuman mutants to fucking chimps again. <laughs> considering we co- we each other, we know it. Well, considering the fact that like way back when, uh, when we were on another website and station and all that stuff. We were pro wrestling, uh, wrestling radio evolved and stuff like that. Now it's like, yeah, not even. Yeah, yeah, evolution. We got hit with a de- de-evolution beat, okay? Yeah. We went back to being, you know, well, we used to be a right shoe, we're a fucking Pichu. No, dude, it, it, Pichu. dude, we went back to Pichu. It's, the, it's the infamous machine from the infamous Mario Brothers movie. Uh, oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Can I see Koopa right now in the stupid little, you know, trawler waiting for the Bomba to come and get me? I don't know. I just like the Goombas, and the Goombas like the little dance and sway back and forth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Goombas and the rare Koopa. Yeah. Goombas had nothing to do with Goombas, but he looked cool. Yeah. They were nice. That's I liked them. Anyway. So, anyway, we 
we, we, I don't want to say we digress. We just we like our tangents. Yes, here. very much but, so. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, this is a little bit disconcerting to us, not because we feel like we're going to be deplatformed, which is the big word of the YouTube oh, day yeah. thing. Because uh, no one listens to this. Who knows? Maybe people will. We're doing this for all little shits and giggles and to kind of get this out for us because this, this this does affect us in some fashion. For years, our show was banned in Germany. For some stupid reason that we have no idea why. And and that's – that's yeah, and that's going basically from uh, back when we were doing the other stuff. We were po- just starting out posting stuff on YouTube. And all of a sudden, our, our friend, The Boobs, who was managing the, the YouTube at the time, basically said, yeah, all of a sudden, yeah, for some reason, you guys are banned in Germany. And we had no clue why. I don't even – we made I – don't, I don't know how to look at this stuff to see if it's anything because now I'm the one who's mainly doing it. But um, yeah, so who knows? We could still be there. We may be back on. We may not. I, I honestly have no clue anymore. Or if he, if he was even ribbing us in the first place, it could have been I a just. Don't care. Yeah, it's whatever. I mean, if somebody does want to hear us dribble on about the stupid shit that we talk about on a regular basis, fine by me. They don't have to. But in the end, we do do this while we do this for fun, and we kind of figured no one's going to be listening. That one person might listen and enjoy it. Is out there. Yes. You know, so that's why we still do this on a weekly basis when we can, or these little impromptu stories until we figure out how to do this shit live, and that'll be a little more fun. Yes. We're working on it, folks. Now, like I said, we were banned in Germany, and I don't know if it's because, you know, we will say shit, like, you know, talking about a wrestler and how we think about them, and we don't hold back. You know, I might call some guy a fat fuck, and, you know, Daniel will laugh at that knowing that I'm a fat fuck. And, I mean, hell, it, it could have been, aside from that, I mean, it could have been something as simple as, hey, we played, like, a two-freaking-second clip of something, and they just were like, nope, you can't play that here. Or it could be the fact that me and Daniel here have been joking about making a uh, production company called Porky and the Kite for the last nine years. <laughs> uh, yeah, total tongue-in-cheek because I'm Portuguese, so Porky. And I'm Jewish, and it would be also hilarious to draw a Jew hanging out with a pig. <laughs> Again, because that's not kosher. Exactly. Now, we joke about this, and we understand that we can make these jokes. There might be a Jewish person who listens to the show and go, I don't like that. Complain. And then, are we going to lose our, our, our programming because of that? Because of a inconsequential joke between friends that really doesn't affect anyone else? Like, it should be this simple. You don't like the program, turn it the fuck off. Mm-hmm. It used to be that way. That's how Howard Stern was on the air for 25 years. Actually, people used to hate listening to him, so they actually wanted to be angry. That's the problem. People out there need to find something to be pissed off about. Yeah, no, you know? very much so. Look, I'm going to bring up an anecdotal. I don't know if it completely coincides with this or not. It kind of yeah. feels like for me it does. There's a Burger King on Queens Boulevard near where my friend Nate lives. And we go there a lot. Now, they recently revamped it about two years ago where they have pull out chairs, right? That's important. For a guy my size, I need a chair I can pull out and lean in. I don't like leaning close to the table because if I'm too close to the table, I'm going to wear my I'm going to wear my dinner. You know, my stomach is like a shelf for food that <laughs> falls and just catches all of it. Sounds like so my I can't like pull the chair back a little, lean forward. I'm wearing food. Yeah. Sounds like my beard. <laughs> you, well, <laughs> yes, it's really gross, man. Yeah, that. I know. I, I I constantly am like petting my beard to make sure there's nothing in it after I eat. <laughs> is there a pigeon in there? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm starting to look homeless. I need a trim. <laughs> yeah, I got a shave too, but that's neither here nor there. Four or five years ago, we went there because it's not a far walk from my job to our area, so I'll walk that distance now. Cool. Easily. I did it tonight nice. without, without flinching. You know, nice. I know it's, it's come at least come a semi long way. I mean, I'm still 355 pounds as of Saturday, but I mean. Hey, can, it's not where I should be 
health wise. But so you're down like, from. If, if I'm calling someone a fat fuck like Kevin Owens, you know, fuck you, I'm fat. I can say that. We got that right. Yeah. If we're going to use that type of logic. But you're you're also down some weight, which is cool. But carry on your anecdote. Let's be off four bills. Yeah. We've said that for a long. I remember one time I came on the air and like I got great news, guys. I'm now 300 pounds. You were take 99. Yeah, but you it, that, it's a three in front. It's a three. <laughs> Damn right. And of course we make, we make fun of it. We have fun with it. Now the Burger King used to have those solid seats, and they didn't have any handicap seating at all. None. So what I did was I complained to the people that worked there. They gave me a chair. I was able to sit. Right. Yep. Okay. Did I go to YouTube? Did I go to Facebook? Did I go to Twitter? Did I try to get this place shut down? Did I did I claim that they're discriminating against me because I'm fat? You know? Did, did I make a whole big hullabaloo? No, and I've since gone back to that Burger King several times. Yeah, you didn't sue them. No. It's like, you fat shamed me by not having chairs that fit me. No. They gave me a chair after I bitched and moaned. I was a little um, nasty about it, but I think I had the right to. They were like, sorry, here's a chair. Please have a seat. Enjoy. When you're done, can we have the chair back, please? Cool. Mm. Okay, cool. We're done here. You know, ate my food, had a good time. I've gone back since. Yeah. Regularly. It's, 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 that's what worries me about this whole thing, though. It's like, someone's going to listen to our show one day. Now, that one person that actually does listen to our show one day is going to go, I don't like the way he's talking about fat people. Yeah. Even though he's fat. I don't believe he's fat. I want to see a photo. If anyone's ever seen any of my self-portraits, I have never once drawn myself skinny. Actually, I make myself fatter than I normally am in my self-portraits. It's just the way I draw myself. I've never once said, yeah, I'm going to draw myself looking like Schwarzenegger's body. Look at me. No, that, that shit don't happen. I'm a fat guy, and I'll be the first one to admit it. Do I need to lose weight? Yes. I don't need anyone telling me that, but shit, it happens. Uh, remember when I went to Comic-Con? Mm-hmm. On the way home, I'm standing about ready to catch a cab. I have a tank top on because it's 9,000 degrees, and I just helped pack up all that Comic-Con shit for my friend. You know, my back's killing me. I'm about ready to catch a cab home from Queens Boulevard. It cost me over $45 to do so, but still. God, the cab suck here in New York. Uh, some guy drives by and goes, Fat boy! And then drives off. Like, I'm supposed to give a shit? Because you're a fucking moron? I have nothing better to do than talk. But thank you. Come again. Try something better next time. I've heard it all. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to go home and cry about it. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. And now, you're going to have companies that are going to suffer from this if they don't, you know, follow these rules. So I am on a CDT.org. And uh, I don't know... Oh, this is pre oh, July 17, 2017. This is after the bill was passed. Yeah, and I'm I'm looking at it too right now, and and again right now, this is is a German law. It has nothing to do with the United States, but it sets a crazy precedent right now for the social media sites to say, okay, well, if we're gonna run this there, why not? Let's have part of our terms of service possibly change, and we can start using that uh, that mindset to do the same things here because I know for a fact that Facebook anything that they deem to be hate speech uh, is getting people put in Facebook jail as I like to call it which is basically they, they, they make it to where you can't like post links to anything for about anywhere between yeah 15 30 days suspend it's basically a little like timeout suspension thing uh, yeah. it's happened to my dad already because my dad does a lot of stuff he's super conservative and posts a lot of links every day and some people just don't like it and they report it instantaneously just when they see it 
okay, whatever. I mean, if you don't like it, don't don't read it. Don't click on it. Heck, hide it. I know. It's not a, don't stop thinking everything is a personal attack. First of all, thank you, Dave, for bringing everything back to what we're actually here for. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> it's that my randomness that I tend to fuck everything. Hey, that's up. all good, man. I know. We, we, that's why you're here, man. You're the level-headed one. We man. work you're together. You're the walker that just yells and screams and curses all the time. That's all good. Yeah, because, you know, stereotypical New Yorker. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. Stereotypical Jewish New Yorker. I actually have a, a bagel with locks and uh, cream cheese right now. No, not that bad. Like a vault. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, what does that translate in Portuguese? Oh, God, I have no idea. I want you, that's homework for next week. <laughs> like a vault. I gotta figure that one out, okay? Yeah, well, you know, issues that we are talking about here is that, uh, is this going to change the way, you know, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter polices their content already? And let's be honest, they already get rid of conservatives left and right to begin with. Yes. You know, e-verification, your little blue check mark disappears, or uh, you're just completely banned, like Milo Yiannopoulos. You know, and yeah, the dude can be a glorified asshole, but shouldn't he have a place to say what he wants to say? Yeah, that that is very true. I mean, I know. It, I mean, it's one of those things where, again, you we run into the, um, the possibility with um, what's the word I'm looking for? Basically, Facebook's a private company, um, so they can basically run their business however they want. the The main issue that I'm seeing though is. Heavy handedness with the rules on one, uh, based on one's one's opinion, and then no enforcement when it comes to a, an opinion that the powers that be at Facebook agree with. Yeah, the the, the popular term right now is, is wrong think. Yeah. You know, so if you if you are on the wrong side of what everyone should be thinking right now, well, it's it's, it's a field day for you. You know, you, they can do whatever the fuck they want to you. And when you complain, no, 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 there's nothing wrong with this. He, he threatened to kill me. Yeah. You know, it's like, I hope you stub your toe. No, man. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, yeah, it, it's, there's just a lot of things that have been out there. Um, it, it's, it's very well known uh, that Facebook uh, is very left-leaning. Zuckerberg donates to that that thing, um, that party anyway, the Democrat Party. Um, so a lot of the stuff that tends to get let go uh, is is stuff that are is very anti Donald Trump or anti Republican Party or whatever. Because I've I've actually anti, seen anti right basically, and I and I've seen I things. I would be made, you know, someone who's not really right, someone who's mainly center who might have some right-leaning tendencies at time, and others still have left-leaning tendencies, so I'm, I, I, I am in the middle of the balance board. Yeah. But because I have maybe one foot that is right-leaning, you know, I'm automatically the bad guy. Doesn't help that I'm a straight white male, and you know, I'm, 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 I'm evil. Just, yeah, all the crap. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the cause of everything bad in this world, but I'm Jewish. Oh no, oh wait, wait. I, I, I run Hollywood. I, I haven't seen any of that money. I work very hard at the job that I do do. Jobs, plural, that I do do. But uh, that doesn't count. Remember that. I, I'm not a self-made man. <laughs> well, but yeah. But I, I mean, I've seen plenty of things it, it, that people have posted on Facebook that has been just outright terrible. Um, yeah. a- advocating the killing of certain people on the right uh, groups that are dedicated to uh, destroying something or uh, someone in particular, uh, but and or World War II, yeah, you know, and, well, but the things that are out there, and unfortunately, you know, some people have the right to say whatever they want, and others don't. You know, it can't be free speech if part of it is being policed and the other part isn't. It's not fair. <laughs> now, is this going to force you to? To um for uh, Facebook or any of the other companies that are big like Tumblr and all that shit to uh, either one thing somehow pull out of Germany yeah just straight up ban all German IPs which 
Is that even a thing possible? Um, I'm sure you probably could because I know, like, in certain countries, they just block certain websites just out from the get-go. Like, at one point in time, I want to say – I can't remember if it was China or – some I know there was some a few countries that would that like banned just the Facebook IP address or anything so nobody so could just the country itself. banning from within yeah that's a governmental thing but I I, I I'm, I'm, I'm 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 sure that there's pr- you probably could try but because of proxy servers somebody can get around it I mean I know the Working at a high school, the high school kids are crafty. There's certain things in there that are it's blocked. There's websites that says not YouTube, like, like not YouTube.com or something. Yeah, you know, or, it's, it's YouTube. oh my god, there, there's one, there's a one website that I swear to god, that, like, I know about it, all the other teachers know about it, but yet, for some reason, they haven't put it on the block website list, and it's called, like, mathgames or whatever.com or some stupid thing like that. And it has nothing to do with math games. It's all just stupid flash games that are like a proxy for something else. It's yeah. Mm-hmm. It, so people are playing like Stick Fighter and stupid things. But yeah, I've seen that. They, they play that here too, and the teachers let it go. Just a little bit of that, don't care. But, type of thing. but yeah, yeah, it's just this whole thing with 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 Germany. To I mean, just when you said it, I was like, wait, what? Uh, I, 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 I said the same thing when I heard it. Yeah, I mean, okay, so basically, here, I'm reading this from, from the website here. Uh, so, it, it, what is it? The, the, the law requires that providers maintain a procedure for handling complaints uh, about purportedly unlawful content. The procedure has to take immediate notice of, uh, of the complaint, and providers are obligated to remove or block access to manifest, manifestly unlawful content within 24 hours of receiving the complaint. Uh, and then again, they have other things. Uh, there's a possibility they have other things there that if they get more than a hundred complaints about unlawful content, that they have to publish result uh, reports annually. And I'm sitting there going, like, okay, the, that's the price of of now doing business in Germany if you're if you're a tech company that has, I mean, two million registered users. Huh, interesting. How is this going to go? Because, again... Ger- no, I'd like to know... Just, I'm sorry to cut you yeah, off. Yeah, it's okay. Go ahead. You know, one of the key words in there is manifestly unlawful. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm... Because I, I know that they... I'm sure they have different laws there when it comes to hate speech or whatever. Because I know us in the United States... Uh, we have the the First Amendment and the freedom of speech to speak out, and basically, freedom of speech for the most part protects uh, you speaking out against the government and saying stupid shit. Uh, it doesn't mean that you're free from the consequences of those things if you are doing it not in a uh, a a uh, against the government type of thing. Uh, the government can't take any action against you for saying something but if you say something stupid like if anybody ever like would listen to the show uh i probably could be they probably could if they really wanted to mess with me and say yeah you know what we're gonna nitpick exactly what you said and we're gonna fire you because you're not a good example or whatever which to me is absolute bullshit because exactly yeah but uh but yeah, but like I know Canada has has like basically some protected speech, but like I know certain people go there and they get banned from the country because they incite violence, quote unquote, uh, or they 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 speak they again they have hate speech laws or something there. So I'm assuming Germany has has just as much too there as well. Um, but again, like. I mean, what what are you going to say? I mean, like, uh, what if somebody types in, like, David Hasselhoff is a dick? I mean, <laughs> could that be considered hate speech? Because, I mean, I know he's big over there. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, this is where just a lot of questions come up and how is this going to affect online life in general and how we go from there and 
how we proceed as a show if we proceed as a show, honestly. Well, you know? Yeah, I mean, this is just, I don't know, it's just a weird situation, this thing, just reading through this. And again, a unlawful, it talks about the whatever, the, the criminal code of Germany, public incitement, some of the which it says on here, incitement to crime, violation of privacy with photos, defamation. I mean, defamation, dude. Like, it, well, I mean, remember, it, it, there is a defense in defamation. You believe it's true. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's liable and slander, but, yeah. I mean, if you, if, like, that's, that, that's, that, those, that's what defamation covers, though. You know, and if you can prove that you believe it's true, you know, that's one of the ways you cover yourself from that, right? Yeah. So, how... Like, I can understand some aspects of this, like, okay, if someone complains about this, you need to handle the post. Yeah. You know? If there's an issue and it feels like it violates some sort of law, post gotta go. Yeah, exactly. If, you, if you're... I mean, again, if, if you're calling for someone to be killed dude no that that should be investigated immediately and somebody should be knocking at your goddamn door of your house i mean personally i I look at that that, that's just stupid to me if you're if you're saying donald trump is a goddamn idiot hell if you say hitler was right yeah, I mean... Uh, okay, you're not outright saying, no, you must gas all the Jews. You know? Yeah. It, it just... You said Hitler was right. Do I agree? No. Fuck no, you're an idiot. If I found you in the street, I'd probably call you that to your face. And good luck stopping me from doing that. Yeah. You know? But... Th- that's it. That shouldn't be an arrestable offense. That shouldn't be something that gets you shut down, and shouldn't be something if YouTube doesn't handle it within seven days. You know? Yeah, they're going to get fined? Or Facebook get fined up to 50 million euros? That's a lot, dude. If I, uh, it says here, writers face fines of up to 50 million euros for, among other things, failing to produce the bi-yearly reports to develop a procedure for receiving and evaluating notices to conduct the monthly reviews of their processes or to eliminate inadequacies in the procedure. So pretty much, if you don't fucking monitor this 48 hours a day, because that's how you're really going to have to handle this, you need like 47 people to monitor just one minute of Facebook. The amount of shit that goes up. Is it like 4,000 hours a minute of material goes on YouTube? Oh, or God. Like it, it's insane. It's some, yeah, yeah crazy-ass number. And it's just like non-stop, non-stop things going on YouTube, non-stop. And it's just like, you know, shit's going to fall through. Yeah, no doubt. And, yeah, it, I mean, we've seen... The platform's going to have to be shut down. We already lost a few on, a few, uh... Uh, alternative video platforms recently. Now this one's gonna go too at this rate. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I don't know how. I don't know. I, I just. I think that's. It's a really weird situation here with this thing. And and like I said, I I, I just. Scott texted me and said, "Hey, I want to talk about this." And I'm like, "Okay, cool." So I'm literally reading as we're we're talking here. Um, most part, just like the idea of it, just. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where we have certain things here, and again, I don't care who you are. You threaten someone's life on social media or anything like that. That's that's just wrong in general. So, and you should probably be investigated. Um, you call for violence against a group of people or uh, to uh, do damage to property or whatever. I mean, there's basic laws for a reason that should be enforced. But when it comes down to it, again, I I hear hate speech and I'm sitting there thinking, okay, what is that? What what are you going to say to that? I, again... I got something else here now. Okay. um, What speech is at issue, right? Okay. This is on cdt.org yet. Um, the law targets as quote unquote lawful, unlawful content, 
that offends any of nearly two dozen sections of the German criminal code. You should have looked that up, too. Yeah. Can you hit Google for that quickly? So yeah. That? Yeah. Those sections of the code include public incitement to crime, understandable, violation of intimate privacy by taking photographs, so, you know, revenge porn, defamation, what the f No! Treasonous forgery. What? Am I the king of England now? Is that the problem? Forming criminal or terrorist organizations. That, that, that sounds reasonable, don't you think? Mm-hmm. And the dissemination of depictions of violence. So there goes all your world star threats. Or just, okay, depictions of violence. That doesn't mean a photograph. That can be a, 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 a satirical, I mean, it could be a satirical comic in certain people's eyes that is just, oh, you, you're making things violent. Like, I mean, I don't know. I mean. Could you get offended by a Batman comic that was posted? Yeah. I mean, hell, I mean, I my brain went back to, okay, Charlie Hebdo. I mean, I know it's in wrong, a different country, but still, um, the whole, they, they did a, a, a silly thing where they they drew a uh, a cartoon depiction of Muhammad, and then they got threats. And I'm sitting there going, they drew the comic, the the Muslims that are pissed off that they depicted Muhammad and getting threats. I'm sitting there going, who's at fault here? Not the comic drawer. I don't know. That's just I don't know. It's too weird to me. And then they got attacked and all that shit happened. Yeah. But no, it also makes me. I was actually going back. You're thinking Charlie Hebdo. I was thinking Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar in the ring, and how Brock literally clocked Braun in the side of the head because oh, Braun was going too hard. Yeah, he yeah potatoed him. He uh, got a and receipt. He, he, he knocked him sideways for a second, and now you have to sit there and go, well, what if someone takes offense to that? You know, I don't want my child watching this, so you need to take it down. But we're not allowed to post wrestling gifs anymore. True. Yeah. You know, these like everything can be. It needs to be nuanced. To the point where you're going to have to be like, you have to question everything now. You know? Can we even talk about pro wrestling without being in trouble? You yeah. know? Can we talk about the fight we had when we were kids without getting in trouble? This is, this is just some of this gets, it's, it's kind of scary. Well, and, and in general, too, I mean, we're, we're starting to see certain things here in the United States where if I post something up, like, I don't know how many times, I, I again, we said at the top of the show, I am more conservative than anything. I did not vote for President Obama. I had so many epithets thrown at me that I was a racist just because I didn't vote for President Obama. I didn't vote for the man based on his political stances. And that was it. Not that he was a fantastic president anyway. But and, 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 well, and, and, and it's one of those things where I, I've said plenty of times. The guy is charismatic as hell. The dude could sell ice to an Eskimo. I mean, he he's very charismatic. But stuff getting thrown at me like that. Or if I say... I just want to say, I only think before someone goes, well, you're conservative, so of course you didn't like Obama. I voted for Obama twice. I don't regret that. Uh, when Bush was president, I only think he ever did one thing right. And that was the no kid left behind thing. For the fact of it helped with the after school programming and created, you know, something like 21st Century, which got a lot of kids a lot of help that they needed. And then this, you know, orange fucktard in the presidency seat right now canceled all that shit. You know? Yeah, I mean, just the way things are right now, I could say one thing and it's blown out of proportion. I could say, I'm for the wall. Okay. Are you're racist against Mexicans? What? How did how does that how did you get from point A to point B? Okay, that but apparently, if you're against illegal immigration now, you just hate Mexicans. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're That's racist. How it is. That's just the way it is nowadays. I mean, you don't realize that. Yeah, it, to me, it's 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 stupid. Like I, again, uh, I don't know. The world is is upside down, and everybody. Well, you know, there's also the whole you know you support cops, you're against blacks, you know all that shit too. Well, I mean, again, I I'm a I'm a traditional marriage person. Oh, you hate gays? I'm sitting there going, uh, absolutely not. Considering I have like I have friends who are openly gay. 
And then there, then again, they always the excuse would be, "Oh, the, well, you the, you're using the friends thing," and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, "Yeah, okay. Um, how do you know? How are what you such I a?" To say? No, I didn't gay myself, even though I'm not. <laughs> yeah, or how are you such a uh, an expert on the subject? And then they give you the same <laughs> spiel or whatever. Yeah, well, all my friends are gay. Congratulations. I don't know. I, I have a healthy mix of everyone in my life. Yeah, I, I just for me, it's a matter of the 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 political correctness is is going is running amok here in this country to a point where now other countries are. I mean, we're seeing it firsthand that now other countries. Honestly, in Europe, it's even worse. It sounds it's, like yeah, because we still have the ability to have free speech. You know, yeah. there's a lot of countries that don't have free speech like we do. Yeah. Uh, obviously, when they have hate speech laws, and while hate speech is frowned upon here, it's still something you can say. Whether, you know, some leftist asshole goes, you can't say free speech and hate speech at the same time. Yeah, you can. You just can't incite riots, violence, and all that shit. You know, can't call people to arms, even though that's what a lot of people do. When they do these protests on both fucking sides. Yeah, well, and and again, the 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 stereotypical you can't yell fire in a crowded room and things like that to cause to cause mass panic. There's certain there's certain things that are are normal, but when it gets to a point where you have too much things going on one side or the other, again, I, I I'm uh, it, it's one of those things where. The politicians suck. Period. Both sides. Politicians suck. Yeah, there's nothing good going on right now. And uh, again, for me, it's one of those things where, like I said, I've been called every single name under the book just because I think the way that I I, I do. Um, and some people, like Scott, I, I can have healthy conversations with, and some people I know to avoid because there's no way I'm going to get into a conversation with them because I know I'm going to be called something or it's going to be a shouting match or whatever. Um, but yeah, hearing this thing about Germany is like, okay, that's a rude awakening now because if a company like Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or whatever has to start enforcing these rules for Germany in itself, What's stopping them from trying to enforce those things here a little bit? Blanket rules, a blanket system for everyone to have to deal with, and whether you like it or not, you're shit out of it. Yeah, because I mean, I know, I know they have their own terms of service, and you agree to their terms of service, and they update it freaking. It seems like frequently, um, but I mean, ultimately, I mean, in the grand scheme of things what may have to happen is just get off Facebook or get off Instagram if you don't if you don't like this at all. So, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it might be time to move the show back to our own personal website and try again from there. Yeah, you know, maybe. What happened to that, but, I mean, that's um, what we used to have. That's what we used to do. Yeah. It worked well for us. We wanted to come here. It might be a big mistake, though. Yeah, well, yeah, things kind of went haywire, and we'll 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 figure things out. But yeah, hopefully everything goes uh, okay. And again, uh, once in a while, it's cool to uh, do one of these little shorty type shows and uh, a little, at least to talk about things and see how things have gone. And but uh, yeah, hopefully uh, everybody out there is aware of what's going on. Again, not saying hey call the violence or anything like that dude if, if you're that much of an asshole and you're on there trying to incite violence and it, 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 fuck yeah it's it's fucking fuck stupid uh, again people you know, if, you, if you're gonna say something that stupid go fuck yourself i'm not gonna say something else because if i really said what i wanted to say i'd be doing the exact same thing you'd be doing yeah. And that's not where I'm going to go. So I'm going to end that with this. If you're inciting violence, go fuck yourself. If you're being an asshole, still go fuck yourself, but you have the right to be an asshole. That is very true. And again, the best thing in all honesty is talk shit out. I mean, uh, talking it, it helps. Um, and uh, yeah, it's plain and simple. It just, I don't, I don't want to see anybody's posts deleted be from the from facebook or but because of the government in general uh whether it be overseas or here so uh again 
you don't have to read things. If you don't want to read it, block me. If you don't, if I don't want to read stuff from you, I'll block you. Wow. That sounds like a very simple, simple and logical activity. Yep, that's for sure. So. So if you don't like this, just do us a favor. Block us and call it a day. Peace. All right. Night. <laughs>